On today's episode of Montana Dana, I get fashion advice from my Aunt Debbie, catch my Uncle Ray being the best, and do some final renovations on the van before I head to Schooly Palooza. Good morning from Toad, my little cargo trailer camper. My dad just came into town, so I've been staying outside my aunt and uncle's place, but it is now time to adventure and hit the road, so I have to get little Toad ready for the road. I drove 3,000 miles from Florida to Palm Springs, and during that drive, we had a little shifting happening. All my furniture came detached from the walls. I need to get some longer screws, screw in the piano, screw in the armoire, screw this in, and I need to clean up and just get everything ready to ride. There's quite a bit more to do in my trailer than there was to do in my van to get up and running, including hitching it up, getting the brakes working, all that stuff. I also want to thank Karen for your donations. They are going toward a new cell phone. I have AT&T right now, and it's just, it's very good in like Utah, but it's very spotty in other places like Palm Springs. So I get cell service in more locations. So thank you, Karen, for helping fund that new venture. That will help me get up and running. It'll help me be able to upload videos off grid, all the good things. So thank you. I appreciate you. So yeah, just cleaning up today. And then I'm heading to Quartzsite, Arizona. I also did laundry yesterday. Gonna take in all my cups and wash them while I can. Oh, and definitely going to Trader Joe's. Gonna plug in my refrigerator, get that going, get some groceries, and I'm going off grid for several days. I've not been in my car for about a week. I've been saving all my coffee cups, cause you know, you know, just in case. I totally forgot though that my check oil soon light kept coming on. I have to get an oil change today. How sweet is my Uncle Ray? He did this last time I was about to leave. He was out there polishing the chrome on the Suburban, wiping off the windshield. He rinsed off and washed off my car when I got here. I'm so, so blessed with such good family. Got a bunch of water for the road. I'm gonna be off the grid for a couple days, so making sure I have enough water for coffee and oats and stuff like that. I also wanna make sure I can reach my fridge cause I'm um, going to Trader Joe's to get some grub. I have a little Jackery charging party happening. That's fun. One thing I love about the Suburban is I can charge both my Jackeries at the same time. Um, right now it's taking 39 watts for the fridge, so definitely need to make sure that we're plugged in the whole time. Got my shower stuff, got my water. I think everything's looking okay in here. Still need to go get screws and find my drill. It always takes a little longer than expected to get going, especially with the trailer in the van. I mean, I had to take a couple things off the wall and make sure that this was latched but whew, this is a lot this is a lot once I find some brackets to fasten that I don't I think I got it I just need to hitch up and grab my computer you need help hitching up do you have your orange wands the yeah the yellow jacket the orange wands kind of put it on <laughs> gonna put on the yellow vest but even right now hitching up the car you know it's like I don't have a backup camera so it's nice to have someone help me so my uncle Ray sweetheart that he is is going to help me um i need to raise it up quite a bit to be able to fit it underneath need to take off the lock it's been so nice to just be able to park for a little bit and enjoy van life <laughs> i'm excited to go into the desert i've got a bunch of friends in quartzite hanging out so i also think there's some gemstones in my future karen thanks again karen was like go get yourself a pretty gemstone so thank you for your donation um that'll be exciting that'll be fun oh, yeah, ray gave me a fluorescent Best because if I break down. It's a fashion statement too, actually. Right? Total fashion statement. I broke down on the roadside chic. It's a good look. I'm just remembering that my change oil light is on. Love that. I don't know if it's just like a sensor. My change oil scene light is on and I just got my oil changed. I got my oil changed in upstate Georgia. It'll go on and off, which is the weird thing. But now it's off, so yeah. It's probably fine. Mine right? does that. I, you uh, smell good. Innis. Innis? Oh yeah, you're telling me that. Innis. Okay. I really like this. I like this uh, vest. Good luck. It is a very good look. So I told you, I don't know if my dad wants me to tell you this, but I did an RV tour with him the other day and we've been hanging out. He got sucked into a snowstorm in Montana on his way home and was in the ditch 
at 2.30 a.m. He finally got out after 10 hours. He was stuck in a ditch for 10 hours. Teamwork makes the dream work. I better lock the back. I'm giving my Uncle Ray my propane because I don't feel safe driving around with it in the back of my vehicle. Double check in here, make sure I don't have any rogue beverages sitting on the countertops. Do you have a, a refrigerator? Yep, it's in the yes, suburban. Left your and oh, I could. Here. I can grab them. Yeah. Might as well. Locking this up, getting my refrigerator cooled off, and I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's, Verizon, get gas, maybe Walmart, and get a cooktop and a vacuum. Or maybe I'll just make some no-bake meals. Or maybe I'll just make some no-cook meals. That might have to be the way to go. It's a lot to remember to get on the road, but I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Uncle Ray's the MVP today. He's got a bunch of long screws for me to use. Oh my gosh! Wow. Perfect. You think it's enough? Thank you. Yeah, that's funny. Sure. Thank no you. Problem. Ray's checking my my hitch and my lights. Looks good. Okay. Looking good. All right. I might screw in those last couple things. Just putting in a final couple screws so my armoire doesn't flop over. I don't even know if it's in the right spot. I'd love to push it that way a bit, but there's a lot of stuff in it. It's very heavy. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like that. Fun. we're having fun and then finally this one came unattached from the actual piano this one's okay this is not going to work long term but um i made a mistake and i put the mirror too low so i can't really push it back farther and still be able to open this good enough Ooh, I almost left these on the edge here. That would have been fun. The MVP of this van build is by far this putty stuff. Everything is putty. It's been staying in its place. This, I need to figure out a better system for my microphone. Let's go. Okay, I think we're good. Be good, pepper spray. Be good. <laughs> in the trailer and I always have to pull over and restart my brake app. Really obnoxious. When they do work, they work really well, but that's just uh, not a very often sort of situation. Where to park? Let's see. There's some spots over there. This is great. We'll get our steps in every day. This is a fantastic thing. Good job, Toad. Toad is so cute. He just wants to go hippity hoppity all over over all the bumps. I see a spot with our name on it. Easy pull in, easy pull out situation. See, that was not that hard. Just cover up this guy, cover up this guy. Beautiful. Um, we'll take care of that in a minute, I promise. So much to think about. I'm literally wearing this the rest of the day. Aunt Debbie said it was a fashion statement, and I believe her. I trust Aunt Debbie's judgment. Like, everything is better when the sun is shining for me. Everything. I'll walk 13 miles in this, I don't care. What do I care? There's an Ulta Beauty across the street. Oh, shut. I'm much less likely to get hit in the parking lot wearing this thing too, so that's fun. I'm looking at the weather right now and the introvert in me wants to go to Sedona. And it's nice right now, it's sunny, high of 50s. But I should probably go socialize for a couple days and not be a garbage human being. So I'll probably go to Quartzsite. I believe it is. All no cook meals for now. I'm gonna figure out a cooking situation soon, but I just wanna get on the road. 
My friends are expecting me. I have a two hour drive. Let's hit the road. All right, California, calm down. Calm down. Wrap, I didn't even look at the gas prices. I should have just filled up a little bit and then driven to Arizona and filled up the rest of my tank. So I'm sure it's gonna be like $2 less. $4 and 69 cents per gallon. Wow, she extra, California. She's just, she extra. My system is not working. It doesn't look like the fridge is plugged in because it's only pulling one watt, so. I'm gonna hop back there, check that real quick. In the van, the fridge was right next to my seat so I could tell if it came unplugged. It comes unplugged a lot. Are you on? No, you are not. Can you the little jiggle jiggle. It's very temperamental. The whole living in my trailer while it's parked and I have my Suburban free and everything set up is great. The traveling part of pulling a trailer has been the biggest challenge. So I'm getting used to it though. It's not as hard as it was a couple weeks ago. It's a lot easier now. I know what I need to check, five things on the hitch, three locks in the back and my brakes. I might need a better system for the refrigerator. We'll see figuring it out as we go but um just being able to do all this in the sunshine is making me happy so like I can handle a lot of stuff going wrong as long as the sun's shining I'm, I'm, I'm a happy camper so figured it out we're on the road let's go quartzite Arizona I'm coming for you we have road snacks we have some questionable curry chicken salad with raisins in it I see a cashew in there don't think I don't see you cashew I'm eating you and then I have a booch because yum and healthy guts why not? It's a little farmer's market I went to where they had the blooming um, artichokes. Those were so cool. Does anybody remember that? This drive is actually really enjoyable so far. I started this trip off on a very poor note. Like there was a lot of stress building the trailer in the humidity. A lot of stress because my transmission blew and then I was driving in snow and it just it was a lot. I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm me again. Thoroughly enjoying this drive. I actually like driving quite a bit. It's the sunshine. I'm a weather snob, it's official. Open roads, clear skies. I have a feeling there's gonna be an epic sunset tonight. Here's Shoot, I forgot to film my song of the day. I have it written, I just need to, I just need to record it. But maybe that's a blessing in disguise because maybe there will be a magical sunset to film in front of tonight. A girl can dream. I love the desert so, 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 so much. abandoned road. Why do all the van life gatherings have to be down like random abandoned roads? That's what I would like to know. I would love to know this. Very, very grateful for four-wheel drive at this moment in time. Hello, semi-friends. Well, we're seven minutes away. That's about all I know right about now. The nice thing is we're only seven minutes away from a gas station, so that's good. Really happy my Uncle Ray gave me those extra long screws because this is a bumpy ride. Little toads going ribbit ribbit back there. The nice thing in this though, I'll be able to detach the Suburban and just take the Suburban into town. Very excited, I get to see my friend Rita. I don't know if Toad is meant to go off-roading so much. Oh, I see my first Sprinter van. We're looking for a pink shuttle bus called Wilbur. Yes, these people are getting it. It's like Harry Potter Christmas over there. I talked to Rita and she said, turn down this road and just keep going. Oh my God. I underestimated how many freaking schoolies there are here. This is wild. I'll just park tonight. It's dark. I could just park right there and just chill for the night. So, so many schoolies. Ooh, I think I'm gonna get a lot of inspiration for a schoolie. I really want to build one someday. A little campfire circle happening over there. That's neat. I see some fire dancers down yonder. I'm just gonna pull over once I have four bars. <laughs> this is the spot. I guess I'm doing it. I'm totally cool with just hanging out by myself tonight and going and finding people in the morning. Look at these cute fire dancers with their neon lights. We make it, kids. I think we made it. Oh, we lost a little macrame. 
I'm impressed. Everybody's still generally in their spot. Good job, go team. It smells of campfire and regrets out there. I feel good here. I mean, I'm not doing anything tonight except for like nomming on some food. I can't wait to open the door in the morning and see where I'm at. I love showing up at places after dark just for the view in the morning. Oh, someone be creeping. Chill, man, chill. I'm gonna set this up. Tomorrow, yes, I'm going to have to make it drivable again because I'm gonna go park by my friends, but I want it to be cozy tonight. It's only 7.30 p.m., so I have not filmed my song of the day, so I need to do that anyways. I think I have like four bars here, which is very exciting, so good to go. I parked in the wrong spot. It's gonna be so loud all night. Your van life grandma. It's 11.30 now. There's an MC over there. There's a bass coming from there. And then there's like the techno music over there. <laughs> Time for grandma's nap. Y'all need to shut it up now. I'm so excited to show you the door reveal in the morning. I hope you will join me in tomorrow's video. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but I'm excited for that. I'm excited for coffee and I'm going to start blasting my bass at 7 freaking a.m. So, I mean, it's one of those things like if you don't like it, then leave. So I'm fine with it. I might actually wear my noise canceling headphones to bed though. I'm not a back sleeper though. I'm like a side sleeper. So this doesn't really work for me. I'm like full fetal all night. But thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, tell me if you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper. Stomach sleepers kind of creep me out. Like you're going to suffocate, ma'am. You are going to suffocate. First of all, how does your arm not fall asleep? Fun fact, after my back surgery, I couldn't sleep on my right side for like almost four years. It was too uncomfortable. So I could only sleep on my left side. And then I just forced myself to start sleeping on my right side because I thought it was probably not healthy for my body. So then I got used to it and now it's fine. <laughs> these these get togethers are so not my thing. I'm very domestic. Like, I think it'd be fun if I was here with like a friend or a boyfriend or something. That'd be super fun. But I will meet up with my friends tomorrow and I don't know, maybe get a tattoo. Rita's given out tattoos. I'm not doing that. I'm almost 40. I'm not getting a tattoo at a schoolie festival. I'm just, not, I'm not. But that's what I love about these things. There's so many different types of people. All walks of life are here and I'm so excited to see everybody, meet new people and just see where the weekend takes us. So I hope you'll join us. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. We'll see you tomorrow.